Hey guys, and welcome back to more Star Ocean, the second story. I am Rabbit, and for whatever reason, I keep yawning, so I don't know what's going on. This will probably have to be my last um, episode for this recording session. I'm actually going one episode over what I wanted to, but as a quick recap in our previous episode, we finally faced off against the monster boss, Shin, and he wrecked our shit royally. But the good news is that the Lacor Hope is now finally done, and we did get a glimpse of its magnificent power when it took out a new slew of monsters that were kind of approaching. So now we are getting ready to embark on a new little side mission that the king of the core wants us to do because he is wanting to basically hit up the continent of El next with the Lacour Hope, so he's wanting to send us on a little like commando mission to help out some of the people and folks that are chilling there. But anyway, Leon is saying, the Lacour Hope must be loaded on the ship and taken to sea. You have seen how powerful it is, so take the utmost care. What's the boss doing chatting over here? Is that taking the utmost care? <laughs> wow, Dia's put him in his place. What do you think about this battle? Invading the El Continent with the Lacour Hope? We may have the advantage as far as weaponry, but do you think the enemy will just give up? We still don't know the real strength of the monsters. So far we've been able to defeat all the monsters we have met, but there may be a more powerful boss behind all of them, and we wouldn't know how strong he is. You're cautious. I agree. Basically. What if all of the monsters we face up to this point are less than small fry? If you think of it that way, the outcome is clear. Then what must we do to beat them? It's obvious. Destroy their leader. Make it so they will never try to attack us again. The next time we meet, I hope we'll talk about our victories. I'm not expecting anything. Dias, can't you just say something friendly for once? <laughs> Jeez, Claude is so butthurt. <laughs> I'm glad to see you still have enough energy to get angry like that. You'll do okay. I'll be at the front line. Dias, he's gone. Rina? Maybe it's silly, but I got the feeling that I'll never see Dias again. Nonsense. Dias is the one person who can take care of himself. The warship is preparing to leave port. All hands aboard immediately. We have to go. Actually, I can't remember. Obviously, if you play through Rena's, uh, Dias does go with you. But in this one, I can't remember if at the very end of the game... I don't want to, like, spoil it, but I don't know if Dias ever meets Rena again. I can't remember, but whatever. We'll be soon off the northwest shore of the continent of El. We'll be going ashore soon. All preparations for the core hope are complete. We will be able to face the enemy and fire at will. We still have seen no sign of the enemy. What does this mean? We will soon cross the absolute line of defense. Don't let down your guard. How could you bring a child to such a place? This child will become a great scientist someday. <laughs> Poor Leon. Big brother? Bogies at 12 o'clock high. Looks like an aerial squadron. Well, hopefully we'll take him down. Don't panic. Remember, we've got the liqueur hope on our side. Floris, prepare to initiate liqueur hope bombardment. Yes, sir. Leon, are you ready? Of course, Mama. Energy charge is at 99.85%. Firing preparations complete. Good. Fire. I guess I could have said that with a little more enthusiasm. How about this? Good. Fire. It's a little bit better. <laughs> All right, Shin. You guys are going down. Shin doesn't look quite so menacing like this. Oh, shit. I like his Elvis hair. <laughs> so perfect. 
I can't believe it. The liqueur hope has no effect? Could that be... A defense shield like those used on spaceships? Could it be... They're coming here. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, my. Isn't this... Oh, it's just... You them. little stupid monsters. You're going down. Alright, so nothing to fear quite yet. But don't get too comfy and cozy, guys. Are you hurt? I'm alright. It's just our counterattack. Uh oh. They're coming again. I mean, what did he expect? Okay, guys, so even though we're fighting Shin a second time, the situation is the same in that we cannot win, but it's okay if we die this time. So don't worry about it. Don't waste your items, which is kind of sneaky of the game to do that because I absolutely wasted a lot of of items the first time I ever played this and after doing that first bullshit with Shin and it was like okay we have to survive a minute I assumed okay maybe we have to just survive a little bit longer this time or actually beat him but no that was not the case it was utter garbage so just let him kill you and cast his shit alright sorry Rena you're next Rena, stop it. I guess I should switch to her so she's not auto-casting on herself. Where are you? Actually, whatever. She's gonna die. Okay, so we're destroyed. But never fear, the game is not over. Weaklings, you scum are too weak. Now you will be shark food. Om nom nom. Ah! You fools, how could you not know that the weapon itself is a decoy? The weapon itself? Curse it. Well, well, how shall we finish them off? Oh my god. Leon, run! That's where I would have gone immediately. I love that the little gargoyles, you can see their butts. They've run away. I don't care, they won't live long anyway. The other battleships have gained nearly complete control. There are virtually no survivors. Good. Just as planned. Wow. This is the only thing we need. Now they have no means of defying us. We have won. Well, that sucks. It's not too good. My body is heavy. I can't see anything. Everything is sinking. Or am I sinking? A comforting sound? Where? Hit. Hey, it's Claude. He lived. Yay! Of course we knew he would live. It wouldn't be a game without Claude. Where am I? I seem to have been saved, but what? That's right. At that time, we were defeated and thrown into the ocean, and then I was saved alone. Alone? Oh no, was I the only one saved? Alone again, Rena. I can dimly hear someone's voice. Hey, it's Leon. Leon? Leon. Oh, yeah. Just to throw it out there, if you were playing as Rena, Leon does not get found. I had mentioned this to you guys at the very start that depending on whether you go as Claude or Rena, there are I guess campaign exclusive 
heroes. <laughs> this is like a weird way of wording it. But basically, Leon is the exclusive one for Claude's perspective of the story, and Diaz is the exclusive one for Rena's. So anyway, we're finding Leon because we're Claude, but if you were Rena, he's not going to appear. So don't know what actually happened to him, but we'll pretend everything works out, even in Rena's perspective. Big brother, where are we? I don't know myself. Say, where's Mama and Papa and your friends? No, it can't be. Is everyone gone? Are we the only ones left? Leon, tell me it's not true. Are we the only ones? Were we the only ones safe? Leon, it's still not certain. Mama too? Papa too? No, no, not them. Poor Leon. I actually feel badly for him. He's just a little kid. No, no, no! Ah! Leon, let's go search. Your parents must be somewhere. Stop trying to console me. No one's left alive. Don't say that. But there's no one else here. We're the only ones left, right? Our being saved is meaningless. Leon, calm down. I wish I had died. And of course, leave it to Claude. <laughs> Remind me to never let Claude babysit any of my children. Shut up. Listen, don't you ever say that again. Have you even thought about how sad that would make the people who love you? Think about that. I think that's child abuse, Claude. He's definitely a minor. But Papa and Mama and Big Brother's friends, they're all gone. They're just not here. That doesn't mean that they're dead. There are demons all around. We'll be killed. I'll slay them. But... Are you using your head? If you keep cool, you should be able to find out what to do next, right? I think you finally understand. Anyway, we were saved, so the others must be saved too. If so, then they too may have drifted to the same place. Rather than brooding about here, don't you think it's better to go search for the others? So it's decided. All right. So there we have it, Claude, the very great negotiator. I don't know, I don't think, yeah, there's nothing over there. Okay, so then let's just take these steps, and we are actually going to end. I know this is a little bit early. I typically like to, is my map still up? It is. So you guys can see, well, maybe you can't, just kind of up in that little left upper corner that's where we are um but anyway we are going to go ahead and save it's just claude and leon which actually that gives me a little bit of time to see if i have something better for him no no we got a buckler for you and i didn't get him a helmet oh that was kind of bad of me and i got rid of uh i've got some shit that he can wear um i guess i'll do this myself so i won't save with you guys but when we do come back together, as you can see, there's like a little tent thingy, like right there on the horizon. I guess it looks a little bit like a hut. It's slightly to the left of the boulder that's right in front of us. But anyway, when we do return next time, I have the opportunity to have another recording session. We are going to head to that little tent area, and hopefully we will hear some word about what happened to the rest of our party and or Leon's parents. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me, guys. As always, I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my Let's Play of Star Ocean, the second story. I'll see you guys later. Take care.